This is the first time in three days we've actually seen blue skies at all. It is about time, Florida. Thank you. Okay, so today's gonna be a busier day because we actually have sun today. And I think it's gonna be the only day while we're in town here we're gonna see the sun. The goal is four videos today, which for us, it really isn't that much, but the way they're spread out, time I think is gonna catch up to us a little bit. So we're on the way, it's what, 10, 14 right now. It's in like the upper 50s, but it's sunny, so it should feel good. On the way to the first place right now, it's got two courses, it's gonna do that. Then we gotta go to a place to do one course, then we can get food, do the last place. Probably then done for the day. So, good morning. Welcome back to part whatever of our time in, man, wow, that's a nice house. There's some really nice houses down here in Daytona, especially off the beach, more on the bay side, which makes sense because they're less likely to probably get blown away by a hurricane. <laughs> but good morning, man, there's some, we're distracted right now. But yeah, good morning. Head to the first course for now, we're like a mile away from it. We'll see how the day goes, but it's gonna be a busy day, especially compared to yesterday. All right, first two videos down. Yep. It is way more cold and windy than it was originally said it was gonna be today. The sun's out, but I think we're getting the remnants of the winds from yesterday, and they are like ice today. They are so cold. So that was a very cold two videos, but we got it both done. It's like, what time? I'm gonna have to flip the camera again, sorry. It is exactly 11.30, and I think we got here at like 10.20, so an hour and 10 minutes to get two videos done. Not bad. So now we're gonna head a little farther south towards the Congo River Golf. That one's just got one. Get that one done, then we go get food. So, but it's to be a little cold. Not a bad start to the morning. Didn't have to wait really on anybody. People let us play through. It was good. Playing with your long sleeves. <laughs> All right. Thankfully, the wind is way less on this end than it was up there. And this is the last little Congo River Golf. Last video. Then we're going to get lunch. And then, like I said, one more for today. And I'll probably be uh, still four in a day, which is like what we try to do is like our main number. Yeah. Also, they got gators. All right. Three videos done. It is exactly 1230. Three videos already down. It's convenient when we film in locations or in cities where all the courses are within like 20 minutes of each other, max. It makes life a lot easier. But now, like I said, 1230, we're done with filming for the morning. We're heading inland now to a city called Deland. That's where the last course is. It doesn't open until two, and it's about 40 minutes there, so we're gonna go to a Chick-fil-A. We eat Chick-fil-A a lot on the road, as you can tell. There's not that many options for lunch that we do but it's about 40 minutes to the Chick-fil-A in Deland. I think from there, it's like 15 minutes to the last course, which works out perfectly. Cause I think, like I said, it opens at two, which will probably put us there pretty close to right around when it opens. We might actually get there earlier than before it opens. And it's a really good course. I can't even remember what the name of the, the course is, but I remember playing it before and it was really good. It was a really long course. So we should get there right when it opens, which the goal was to get there it's close to opening as possible, one for crowds, and two, to get there before kids get out of school for the day at three o'clock, because we're filming this on, let's say, Wednesday. So trying to beat those things, too, was also a goal. And it looks like that's gonna all work out. So from here, Chick-fil-A, and like I said, in either the last video, if I split these videos up, or in the clips from yesterday of filming, this is what life's like on the road. We film all day, we eat, we film some more, we eat some more, maybe go to the gym somewhere in the middle, and that's basically it that is all that's what our days are like so if y'all are still watching this video if it is one giant long vlog for this entire city thank you i appreciate it and i hope at least this is kind of interesting to you guys seeing that's a cool looking house what it's like kind of behind the scenes in some way and we're done <laughs> welcome back there was no point really any filming anything else between the last clip and this one because all we did was we drove about 40 minutes like i said to chick-fil-a we ate we came here we filmed and shout out Family Fun Town. We're either in like Orange City or Deland, Florida. I don't know which one it is. It's kind of on the line, but shout out to this place because this, of course, the last three times we played it, this is the third time. It has been so well upkept. The entire property is like spotlessly clean, Dude. which is super impressive. And it's one of the best mini golf course layouts around this part of Florida, in my opinion. Like between Daytona and here and Coco, best layout. It's really fun. But now it is, we got here at two o'clock, it's 2.46, we are done, we're done for the day. It's still like the breeze is just picking up and now there's clouds rolling back in. So it's even colder because the sun's getting behind the clouds. So we're done filming, we're gonna head back to the Airbnb now, which is how far away? It is for 38 minutes. So we're gonna head back, chill for a little bit and then go to one of Alicia's favorite restaurants of all time for dinner tonight. So. We'll probably, next clip, we'll see y'all there. It's a really great vibe there too. So we'll see y'all when we get there. Probably gonna be eating inside though, cause it's yeah, really it's cool out place. and it's gonna get dark really early here. So yeah, we'll eat inside, but we'll see y'all at the restaurant. All right.
Time for your restaurant. Might be a little too cold to eat outside, but you can't see the ocean, so it still counts. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got a little fart bed. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so is that everything you wanted it to be? Yeah. Good. Not a bad view of the beach from out here, though, but it was obviously way too cold for us to want to be eating outside. But very nice view. Thank you, sir. If only it was like 15 degrees warmer, it'd be perfect. Weird cool front. Hey everybody, welcome back to the last day in Daytona. Still haven't decided yet, and I'll probably base it off this video for the rest of the trip if every stop is gonna be one who knows how long video if I'm gonna split it all up. But for us, last day in Daytona, we've already done, I just did honestly didn't feel, not feel like picking up another camera this morning in addition to having to film. But we already got two videos done. It is 12.20, we started like 10.45 or something like that. We did the last video that we needed to do, which was a little teeny tiny. Pirates Island course. There's like Pirates Island and Pirates Cove. I still don't understand if they were under the same company chain and there's two different like subsets of each other or if it's two completely different things. But we had to do that one and then we ended up going back and redoing the Congo River Golf that we did yesterday. Just have another video because depending on when this video comes out again, I asked you guys on a poll on the main channel if you could have the option of having more videos come out each week, but there'd be more revisits if like y'all were down for that. And we had the time, y'all said yes to that. So like, well, we have the time today because we got everything done. We'll just go ahead and go back and do that one again. And then we'll release that video the second time, just way later, like six months to a year later. And that's kind of how to get the extra video out of it. So we did that. Now, I feel like this is what most of this video has been the whole time. Going to get food. We're going to go actually, instead of going to Chick-fil-A for, I think, the, we'll say we've done it Monday, Tuesday, for the fourth time in a row. We're going to go to First Watch because we didn't realize there was one here and we saw it yesterday when we were leaving through Daytona. So... We're gonna do that. Maybe go ahead and go to the gym afterwards. We're gonna see kind of what time it is. And then if we have time, we actually might go back and also redo the Pirates uh, Pirates Cove courses, the two that we did starting yesterday, because the place Alicia wants to eat dinner is right by that. And it's like 25 minutes away. So if we have time before sundown with doing the gym, we'll do all that. If not, we got the one extra video with Congo. That's good. And then tomorrow we're heading down to Palm Beach Gardens and that'll be a whole next set of the series on this trip. So, do what? And hopefully warmer. Yeah, hopefully warmer. It's supposed to be. Like the weather's been so just crazy bipolar. Like <laughs> we had all that. We had it spiked almost eighty degrees. Had all the crazy winds and all the rain. Then yesterday it was supposed to be sunny and warmer, and it was sunny, but the winds were ice cold. So it was like sixty degrees, but then the wind chill brought it down. Today it was supposed to be cloudy for most all the day. The clouds pretty much disappeared already. They might come back. And it was supposed to be cooler than yesterday because of that. But now the sun's out and there's like a nice warm breeze in comparison to yesterday. And it actually feels warmer than it did yesterday. So we almost dressed like the opposite days of how we should have. Nice, nice Model S. So we dressed like the opposite of how we should have between yesterday and today. You know, actually Alicia's wearing almost, besides the lower half of her, she's dressed okay. the exact same. I had a shirt under this one yesterday. Yeah, so the original... They don't stink. Yeah, so the plan was, um, we made Dane Flavitt shirts. I'm sure y'all, if you follow her on Instagram, you've seen that by now. She was wearing that, or intending to be wearing that yesterday, but she brought a sweatshirt as a backup, and then ended up being so cold throughout the day because of the wind, no one even saw it. So, that's why she looks the same today. And I'm wearing basically what I wore the oh. first day down, because I didn't sweat any of this sweatshirt, or this hoodie. So it's kind of like, eh, we'll make it work. And I'm not wearing shorts today. Yeah, she's wearing leggings today. So that's kind of the reason why we look the same is we both are wearing the same outfit we wore on a different day throughout this uh, throughout this video. But yep, that's it. Again, that's why I didn't really pick up the camera much today because we're just repeating a lot of the stuff we did yesterday. That's again, part of what life is like on these trips. But also that'll be a question I want y'all to let me know about too. Um, with these videos, would you rather see each week? So I'll base the response on this video to how I film the rest of the trip, depending on how much of it I film. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this channel, man. But do you want to see one long video each week of like a montage of things we do in each city? And it's gonna be a lot of this like repeat, just kind of talking, hanging out, seeing a little bit here and there. Would you rather it be like that and like every Sunday you get a long montage video? Or would you rather me split that up throughout the week and make it more like bite-sized videos? But they might just be some really abrupt cuts between video to video because of how they're shot. 
let me know in the comments and I'll take that into account. And if y'all want to see just one long one, that's fine. If you want me to split it up throughout the week, I can try to do that too. Those will be a lot shorter. Let me know in the comments. But for now, food, yeah, I've been to first watch in a really long time, actually. Yeah, it's been a long time. So I can't even think of the last time. Probably since. One of the trips probably last year. Yeah, last year. Probably when we were on the. Like, the May, the, June trip. Yeah, like the Virginia. Yeah, because we all the other stuff, we was Myrtle. There's no first watch. Yeah, there's none. And then. Uh, What's the other place we went? Uh, in Pigeon Forge, there's not. And those were the only two other trips that we did. Yeah. So, wow, yeah, we haven't had first watch in like six months. So this will be tasty. That's next, and like I said, probably the gym. Maybe film a little bit more, that's kind of floating. And that's the end of our time here. And then tomorrow we head down to West Palm. Oh. Yeah, 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 and hopefully the weather will be better because yeah, it's just been super bipolar. And down there it's gone from saying, Oh, sunny every day, to then rain every day, to then cloudy, to the, and the temperature's fluctuating like 80 degrees tomorrow to 60 degrees the day after that. Like, it's just bouncing all over the place. So it's gonna be really random, and that's gonna be the city that we have to do the most, like, drive traveling for courses. Here, the farthest was like 20 minutes away. There, it's gonna be like, we're an hour north, an hour south for some, like, driving to get to some of the courses. So that's going to really add up. So with the weather, we'll see kind of how that plays out, but hopefully good. This That's the most stressful thing. I think I've said this before. That's the most stressful thing about this job is crowds and weather because you're completely like controlled by what the weather is doing every day. And when it's changing all the time, especially in Florida where that happens a lot, it adds a lot of stress and confusion to how our days go. It's not structured at all because it can't be. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's been a while since we ate one of these. Hey, it would be a good, if we go to the gym, a little pre-workout, pre-workout lunch. Which I don't there's a Gold's Gym right there, but not for us. Because you wouldn't be a vlogger if you didn't show your food, apparently. Food, food. Oh my God, we're gonna eat it now. See y'all in the next clip. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I have no idea what the last clip was that was filmed for today. Uh, we just got kind of caught up in stuff and just getting things done. We ended up, we did go to the gym. I think I did get a, like a little random second of that. And then we ended up going back and doing the Pirates Cove course we did yesterday, ate dinner, then came back here to get kind of ready to check out tomorrow. So I apologize I didn't pick up the camera anymore, but all you missed was us walking to the same mini golf course we did yesterday, more food, and then driving back here. That was, that was honestly basically it. But again, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I, if this is going to be one giant video, this might be an hour long for all I know. But if you watched it, just know I do appreciate it. And I think I said earlier, let me know in the comments. If you would like to see moving forward the videos split up into shorter videos more often or just like one really long video each week, let me know in the comments. But either way, y'all, thank you for watching. We'll see y'all in the next video heading down to Palm Beach Gardens. That area is going to be more interesting because like I think I said before, it's going to be a lot more driving to get to the places. So we'll see how that goes. Thank y'all. See y'all in the next one. See you.